In 2019, the UK consumed 189.6 million tonnes of oil equivalent energy. That means each person burned almost 8 kilograms of oil every day for heating, air conditioning and transport. The proportion of energy supplied from low carbon sources rises year by year, but it still only represents less than 20%, while oil, gas and coal account for 80%. Bioenergy and nuclear power follows with 7.3% and 7%, while wind power only supplies 3% of total consumption. Worldwide, hydroelectric power is the most important renewable energy, representing 6.4% of global consumption. Not surprisingly, fossil fuels still dominate power sources with 84% of world total energy. Reliance on coal-fired energy may explain why so few biodiversity goals set in Aichi 10 years ago have been met. But building low-carbon energy plants is not easy. Hydroelectricity is a good example. One of the biggest drivers of emissions is still construction. To make full use of solar energy, a large proportion of daytime with sunshine throughout the whole year is essential, so climates without reliable sunshine can't really consider it a reliable source. Wind might be everywhere, but to generate electricity, the annual average wind speed has to be at least 5 metres per second. The UK has built the second largest offshore wind farm, London RA, 20 kilometres off the Kent coast in the Outer Thames estuary. Nuclear power may sound dangerous, but it is considered clean energy. There is often reluctance to build reactors, though, near centres of large populations. So what would be the future of energy or the energy of the future? To refine traditional power and develop new technology to neutralise emissions or to embrace renewable ones or to harness the atomic power. The global pandemic has created a hiatus which could be used to rethink and reshape the sustainable energy sources of the future. Oil fueled the 20th century, its cars, its wars, its economies and its geopolitics. Now the world is in the midst of an energy shock that's speeding up the shift to a new, greener order. Since then, there's been a slightly jittery recovery, but a return to the old world is unlikely. Fossil fuel producers are now being forced to confront their vulnerabilities.